Lord, what do I have to say? Some people do better off struggling than they do when they're blessed. Because struggling people don't mind praying. Because they feel like that's the only way they can get out of their struggle. And then as soon as some people get out of their struggle, they stop praying. As soon as they get their deliverance, they stop praying. So it, it makes you wonder what were they really serving God for? Were they really sincere about serving God? Or did they just want the stuff? Because some people, they act like they're sincere. But as soon as God bless them, they're gone in 60 seconds. Do I have any witnesses? Y'all are going to talk back to me here. And as long as they were struggling, y'all are going to talk back to me. I said it to them, as long as they was on the bus route, riding the church, y'all ain't saying it here. As long as they was on the church train, you knew they would be on time. And they would be here. Lord, you give them four good tires. Or all beat up jalopy. And they done left God. Can I get a witness here? As long as they were by themselves, they were just fine. They tried somebody halfway saved. They don't come over Sunday. They done left the church. Y'all ain't saying that here. How sincere are you about your salvation? Are you serving God because you love him? Or are you out the stuff? Tell your neighbor, don't forget about God. Psalms 9 and 17 said the wicked shall be turned in the hell and all the nations that forget God. God, all the forgetful folks are going to hell with the same place as the wicked folk because they didn't forgot about God. As long as they was, in, they was struggling, man, they were calling a, a fast and they were calling prayer sessions, and calling prayer meetings. Y'all gonna talk back to me here. But as soon as things start getting good, they barely read their Bible now. Y'all gonna talk back to me. Lord, I'm talking about some people that still have that same hunger for God, that same desire for God. Can I get a witness? God can bless me with whatever, but I still don't change my hunger. I still want to seek his face. I still want to have prayer service. I still want to fast. Can I get a witness here? Because I'm not a stuff chaser. I'm a God chaser. Do I have any God chasers? As a deer painted after the water brook, so does my soul after thee. I long for the living God to be in my court. When shall I appear before thee? One thing that I desire and that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and inquire in his temple and behold the beauty of the Lord. Don't forget about God. So Jeremiah's mission was to call out the hypocrites and the pretenders. Ask your neighbor, where you hiding at? Where you hiding at? Where you, where you hiding at? And the problem that Jeremiah had to deal with is that some of the hypocrites and pretenders were in positions of authority. He said, it's easy for me to call you out among the people. He said, but some of the folk causing the problems ain't out among the people. Where did my amens go? So he tells Jeremiah, call out the priest. Because the priests are trying to lead you when they have need to be led. Priest can't tell you to solidify your walk with God 
when their walk is shaky. Call out the pastors. Ones that should know the letter and know better. Going to call them out. Because now they have rebelled against the one that has called them, Lord. Know what they should be preaching. That's what I said. You got to take an emotion out of it. Uh, you can't be an emotional preacher. You get too emotional, then you miss what God said. That's why I told Jeremiah, don't look at their faces. You might feel sorry for somebody. You might realize right in the middle of the sermon, oh, that's my friend. Y'all are going to talk back to me. He said, but if you just preach what I tell you to say, let the chips fall where they may. Let me go old school on you. They said you can take a rock and throw it. <laughs> so now he calls out the priests, calls out the pastors. He even calls out the prophets. Ooh, you know Jeremiah's in some trouble now. They said, forget about God and set up some graven image. Can I get a witness here? And now they're worshiping uh, an idol. And all these people have been, all these things have been set up. Uh, Jeremiah said, I charge you directly. Uh, because what the people hear and what the people get, uh, they're receiving from you. Uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, so if you put something positive out there, people can receive uh, something positive. Uh, if you put something out with a negative connotation attached to it, uh, then people are going to perceive things negatively. Y'all uh, Ain't gonna talk back to me here. Uh, listen, sometimes when people ask you how you're feeling, uh, the only way they know how you're feeling is what you tell them. Uh, oh, Y'all ain't gonna talk back to me here. Uh, so I ask you how you're feeling, uh, and you say everything, it is well. Uh, but people are gonna perceive that as well uh, based upon what you told them. Uh, Y'all gonna talk back to me here. Uh, where did my amens go? Where did they go? Where did they go? So now, uh, we need to be, be, be personifying uh, to the people in this last day and time uh, that we need God. Uh, we can't forget about God. Uh, we can't make it without God. Uh, if we ever needed the Lord before, uh, we sure do need him now. Uh, we cannot be up here uh, talking about prosperity uh, and talking about money uh, and talking about finances uh, and talking about being a millionaire. Uh, all those things will come in good time. Uh, if God wants you to be rich, he's going to make you rich. Uh, because the blessing of the Lord make it rich and they had no song I wish I had half a church uh, have no summer too. What I'm trying to get you to see uh, is we need to preach old-fashioned deliverance uh, and holiness uh, so people can get their lives together. Uh, they can get their mind right. Uh, I wish above all things uh, that you would prosper and be in hell uh, even as thy soul prosper. So if we preach the word, everything else is going to come along with the word. Because not only will other people go after other gods, but they'll start going after other gods of people that are around them. Lord, have mercy. Y'all don't know that, that spirits connect. Y'all don't know that birds of a feather. Thank you, church. Y'all didn't know that if you run with the dogs long enough, you're going to start barking. Hang out with the cats long enough, you're going to start with the meow. Y'all are going to talk back to me. You'll start serving their gods and the gods that are around about you. I can't get no help here. Why are y'all getting quiet? That's why you got to be careful of the click. Can I get a witness here? Y'all are going to talk back to me here. That's why you got to be careful now. I only hang out with certain people. Only certain people can be around me. You better be careful. Oh, you better watch out because you're serving those spirits that are around about you. Can I get a witness here? And those spirits are not of God. We serve a God of unity. We serve a God of peace. We serve a God of love. For the God I serve is not the author of confusion, but a God of peace of oh, the church. I found you never ask him who you're running with. Who? Ask him who you're running with.